Hello, this is Jim, Fat Cat Market Garden. March 3rd, 1 o'clock, still 40 degrees, zone 7A in uh, central Delaware. And this is to follow up my comment about the Stropharia uh, Rugosa annulata wine cat mushroom. Garden King, I think it's called, too. But I've done containers like this. Probably a three gallon container, nursery container, holes in the bottom, around the outside, and one hole in the center. Now, this has magnolia chips in the bottom of it. Uh, I did, now I have this one here. I have five out in the field covered, with, they were covered with wood chips. Um, I'll actually show you that also, I suppose. Um, or I'll do another one before I cover it up, not a short one. And uh, there, there were oak in the bottom. I have about 15 downstairs in a warm environment. And this one's going to go downstairs too. This one here has the magnolia chips on the bottom. Then it has. Um, is there, there's, there's some magnolia chips. Then I put some compost worm casting soil there. That's the black stuff. And then I put sawdust down. And I sprinkled a layer of protein powder yeah. Yeah, that I, my wife and I take. So, and then straw. And I'm going to, I have some, uh, cardboard over out of sight uh, this is the amount this is the last of my spawn here yeah uh, and if you're interested this is um this is a root cutter trout i have a root cutter root slayer root slayer uh shovel too if you do any transplanting these are really nice by radius but anyway, so I'm going to put cardboard on top of this next. Then I'll keep layering it the way I am. I'm going to see if the protein powder helps the growth of the spawn, the mycelium taking over and growing. Now, I also did one with uh, caro syrup, which doesn't have any fructose in it. I did one with molasses. I did one with caro pancake syrup. And it had 30% corn syrup. That's the only one I could find with the red corn syrup on the label. High fructose corn syrup. So, um, about seven of them I did with wheat grain. I soaked it overnight and boiled it between, I think, 160, 170 degrees. Left that overnight. My straw, I uh, soaked in hydrated lime. Here's my straw here. Now I'm about done with that. Uh, so I'll let you how all my experiments do out of the it's about 20 or so of these containers I have out and about. So I just wanted to update this and follow it up and let you know what I was actually doing with this wine cap mushroom stuff. Okay, thanks a lot. Good luck with your garden. This is Jim.